is I'm going to do my tutorial on Google Docs, which I think is one of the best programs, or close to the best programs that Google's done. I think all of Google's programs are one of the best. But let's just simply go in here. I'm into the Docs homepage, which is docs.google.com, or search or Google Google Docs. Uh, simply as that. Now I have three things here already in my Google Docs. Uh, my LAT questions, which I believe I've used in the past, maybe. Um, or my or our segment list for the show. Um, and I can open it up. Now this is the segment list. It's opening in a spreadsheet, which I have it in. Which I've uploaded. I uploaded it as a spreadsheet in Excel. And just upload right there. That's our spreadsheet. And it's not really very well done because it's not very finished. That's not very accurate. Also, my LAT questions, I did this for a interview. And that's just that. Now, but I want to show that you can actually, instead of me just saying, oh yeah, I upload this stuff, I'm going to actually go ahead and upload. I create a little document. If it actually loads. Things being a bit laggy lately. Select files to upload. Let's talk tech. And I created a thing called Bob Builder Example. So upload that. Start upload. It's 12.9k. Upload complete. Okay. Now I want to open it. Well, just actually before we open it, let's go into Google Docs. Show you that it's there. And there it is, Bob Builder Example. Now I purposely made some errors on it. Okay. You're Bob the Builder, I fucking hate your show. Um, you could read that, pause the video if you want. Now I made some purpose errors here, and I want to see if Google Docs would catch them. By the way, Google Docs is a free thing, and you can upload just about any file you want. Uh, now, that's a new thing, before you can only upload documents, such as Word documents and other stuff. Now, format. Now, as you can see, you have all your insert table tools. Now, let's go into spell checker because I made some mistakes here. Yes. So, obviously, I want to change Wendy to Wendy. I think I still spelled that wrong. Legally, maybe, and recommend. So, it <laughs> you can read this if you want, and then just change that up. Still have that tab. And it's as simple as that. That's, you know, I just created that just to show you that you can do some cool stuff. You can still link, highlight, you can do just about anything you can do with Word, uh, Microsoft Word, and you can do here. Okay? Well, the thing is, is that you don't have to, another thing is you don't even have to have Word in Microsoft Word to do this. Leave this page. Actually, I should save this so I can show you that I've saved it. Now, I save. Save, save now. It's going to save onto servers on Google. It's not going to save on your computer. So, and there's our example. But I want to show you that you can create a new document. You don't need Word. Screw Microsoft Word. No, screw them. You can create a Word document right here. And there's your Word document where you could type anything. I, you know, I simply want to type a letter, and you can type this letter. Now, let's say I've typed this letter, and I say, huh, okay, cool. I don't, I want, uh, you want to email this. Uh, I don't know if there's an email option, but you can share it, which is basically an email option, same thing. And yeah, email is an attachment. Okay, so I want to send this to, let's say simply, let's say, let's send this to my personal one, to my, and simply send it as an attached document, or I could paste it into the email message, which is when I want, uh, what I want to do, I could say send. Unless you enter a 
Kelly, Hamster, and some stuff. Send. And the message is send it. I will go into my other, I will go into my email and I will show you what it looks like. As you can see, in my email, it has shown up and it says Let's Talk Tech one at gmail.com, which is the email I sent it from. I sent you a letter, which is this is what I wrote, but I sent it as an email. So send it directly in the email, or you can send it as an attachment. And those are just a bunch of words I wrote. Now as you can see right here, it's I, I I sent it to my email and I went back in here. Now I share I sent it as an email. You can also share this device. Um so instead of sending it by email, you could just also say share. I open up uh let's go with the Bob the Builder one. Bob the Builder has more written on it. So I wanna share this. I can invite people and I can include a message but I can invite myself and as soon as you type in the email you could choose for the person to edit or view it so they can go in and they can say, okay, well, I want to edit this particular, uh, you can make it so they can edit it, or they can just view the thing, so this way, there's no, they can't screw it up. But I'm not gonna, I won't show you that, because then I gotta keep switching back and forth, but it's easy, you can share it or send it. But as you can see, you can also create the new, it, it's, it's phenomenal. But it's not just Word, it's not just a, a document, or a spreadsheet or a form is a presentation. You create a presentation. So let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation that you make and you don't have Word. Got my other thing, so I'm starting to lack my computer up here. You can create a presentation. And just like anything, slides, we get slide, presentation settings, change theme. You have all these themes that you can choose. All this really cool stuff. So, really, Google Docs is great. You can upload just about any file to it. I'm sure it's limited. I'm not sure what the limits are. But you can add just about anything and do just about anything with Google Docs without having to pay money for Microsoft Word.